Hi, I'm Mac McCarthy, and I help people with their breakups. Let me know if you like it. I'm going to do some more stuff like this. If you are going through a breakup right now, go ahead and visit writemac.com, W-R-I-T-E-M-A-C.com. Send your story, and I can give you my take on that. Otherwise, have a good one. Hi, I'm Mac McCarthy, and I help people with their breakups. And today, I want to talk to you about what does the dumper feel post-breakup? So I don't even like the word dumper or being dumped. Just never liked it, but it's what we use a lot of times. But whoever broke up with you, for whatever reason they broke up with you, my first question to you would be, why do you think they broke up with you, and what were the reasons that they told you? Next would be, do you believe them? A lot of times people come to me, doing a live coaching session with myself is writing out your story as detailed as possible. And people will say, well, he told me this or she told me this when we, bro when we broke up, but I don't think they were telling the truth or I think they meant this. Now, the next question to me would be like, well, do you trust them? Do you believe them? Because if you don't believe what they're saying, then you probably didn't have a very good relationship, nor would you have a very good relationship moving forward because trust is paramount in a relationship. So right there, the idea that you don't believe what they told you. For example, if they say, I'm just no longer attracted to you, and you go, I just don't think that's true. I think that they were saying that, but actually it's because I don't make enough money. When you broke up, whatever was said, you should go through that. You should write it out in a journal and you should unpack it with a coach, a therapist, or a friend that you really respect to get some clarity. Now, here's the other part. You know your partner better than I do. You know your partner better than anyone else, I would hope. But here's the thing. Once you break up, once you break up, you're never going to be able to know exactly what they think, okay? I know that's not what you want to hear when you watch a video like this. You're like, wait a minute, I want to know what they think. Excuse me. Is there a human out there that can read minds about what people think all the time? I guess psychics are one of them, but are you a psychic? <laughs> are you going to be able to dial into the frequency of your ex far away? I just don't think it's possible. So even if you feel like, what are they feeling right now? What are they thinking? Let me do this for you. And if you have a pen and paper, take it out right now, or you take notes on your phone, take a note on this, because this is the most important piece of information I'm about to give you on this topic. If it's driving you nuts right now to not know how your ex feels about the breakup, because right now you are absolutely dying inside. I know that sounds dramatic, but what's the other alternative to use for the words, right? You're hurt. And you're thinking, are they as hurt as I am? Are they moved on? Are they with someone else? Da, 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 da. Worst case scenario, worst case scenario. Now, where this gets really bad is when you start doing some Sherlock Holmes detective work on the internet and you go on social media and you see them in a picture. Now, the picture is somehow to you some evidence of how they're doing without you. For example, I just had a client that came to me recently. We did a live coaching session, had a great session. And if you do choose to do a live coaching session with myself and you don't find it useful or helpful, I do offer a refund. So in the coaching session, this person was saying, I saw them in a picture on Facebook at a work party and he had his arm around one of the new interns that's working there um, and I just can't believe it I think he's moved on so I said is he the type of guy that would put his arm around most people family colleague or friend in a picture is he uh, an affectionate person or someone that's like that? Because there's some people out there, right? Let's face it, that they'll give a hug easier than others or they'll put their arm around someone. And she goes, yeah, actually he is. 
he would put his arm around a friend or a family member. So is it possible that he just put his arm around this woman because they were in a photo together? Yeah, it's possible. So why are you checking the social media? Well, I want to know how he feels. Here's the thing that's counterintuitive. Social media probably is going to give you some puzzle pieces, but they're not, it's not going to give you the whole puzzle. And so you're going to be left with these open loops, these cliffhangers, and you're going to try to fill them in. And it's going to drive you nuts. It's kind of like you broke up and the series ended and the new season's not come out yet and you're trying to figure out what's next. Cut, cut off access to social media. I'm going to say that again. If you're having trouble and you're being obsessive about what your ex is feeling, number one, you're not going to know what your ex is feeling. Here's the only way that you might know if you ask him directly. Hey, how you feeling about the breakup right now? A lot of times that's not an option. You're broken up. You've accepted the breakup with dignity and grace. And right now, you don't want to ask him that. You don't want to talk to them. It hurts to talk to them. And by the way, even if you asked, asked them directly, they might not tell you the truth. They might be hurting inside, but they want to tell you, I'm doing all right. So just know, could you accept the fact that during the breakup, you're not going to be able to know how they feel, but that doesn't mean you should assume the worst. Now, I'm going to share a bit of an anecdotal story that a client of mine just came to me with. We had done a live coaching over two years ago about a breakup he was in in his early 20s. I believe he was 21, 22 years old. And um, really tough breakup on him. They had been together two and a half years. You know, love of his life. She's gorgeous. She's this. He had gained some weight. He had got lazy. Okay. So he comes back to me like I said, about this is recently, so it was like two years, two years after the initial one that we had talked and he had gotten through and we had some really good sessions. And he said, my ex prior to my high school sweetheart, who's actually engaged, just came to me recently and said, hey, I want to get a drink and I want to talk. Um, it's been a long time. And he said he was totally caught off guard, didn't know how to respond. But he said, yeah, let's grab the drink. Let's have a talk. And he was thinking, God, she's got a fiance, but he was curious. And he had been over her for a while. There was no feelings there, no expectations. So they got the drink. They sat down. Within the first 10 minutes, she had to ask him, when we broke up, when we were 18 years old, how did you just never talk to me again? How did you, how did you feel? How, how were you able to not contact me and not care? And he said, he went, well, I knew the relationship was over and I had to move on. But you know what he told me? He goes, actually, I was hurting too. I was wondering when she was going to call me. I missed her too. But he didn't even divulge that years later when she asked him directly. And where I'm going with this is, can you be okay with not knowing how they feel? Because... What you have is how they felt when they broke up with you. What you have is what they told you when they broke up with you. What you have is the whole story of the entire relationship in your head. What you don't have is three weeks, a month, two months out of the breakup. You don't have any of that evidence. You don't have any video on them. You don't have any pictures on them because if you have pictures if you have videos if you have secondhand information from a friend of a friend you're trying to build a case you're trying to do some research you're still not going to get that direct definitive answer of how they're feeling about the breakup the truth is if you were in a good relationship and you treated them really well and about 80% of the time, the relationship was pretty damn good, they're going to miss you. Now, depending on their character and where they're at in life, they might contact you. Depending on how stubborn they are, they might not contact you. But feelings don't dissipate. 
they're gonna miss you. But then you have to go back to, why did we really break up? What was the real reason? And if you're having trouble with that, I would highly recommend booking a live coaching session, writing out your story, unpacking it with myself, or a friend that you respect, or a therapist. But thinking to yourself, what are they thinking about? What are they thinking about to yourself? And then doing research on social media is probably the worst thing you can do. So I hope that helps you. Please visit rightmac.com if you'd like to book a live coaching session with myself or send in your story for a uh, unpacking on a YouTube video. Otherwise, I wish you all the best.